I consider myself a pretty good do-it-yourselfer, but I've come all the way to Salt Lake City to visit Shelly, who says she can give me a run for my money. And the best part is, all of her projects to organize our home are really inexpensive. Hi. Hi. You must be Shelly. Yes, come on in. What a cute place. Thank you. Your thing is doing DIY projects yes. to organize your space. Yeah. And did you actually transform every single room in the house? We're getting there. We're getting yes. there. So. How long did this take to decorate and pull together? Um, we started restyling our house about two years ago. What got you started organizing and doing all these projects? Um, I think a lot of the need came from the fact that we felt like our house wasn't a reflection of us. It was kind of dark and dated a little bit, even though it was a new home. So I understand you have a number one tip for every room in the house that people can yes, use. Yes, I do. Take me through them. Okay, so the first tip that we have here is in this hallway, and it's these Velcro picture hanging strips. They're awesome because you can mount these photos and frames on the wall without having to worry about anyone bumping them and moving them. Right, and so so they, nice. they don't get crooked all the time. Can I take right. it down? Um, yeah, I think they're kind of, there you go. <laughs> And they're just these Velcro strips, and um, you can place them where you want them on the back of the frame, and then you go ahead and put them back up. And it doesn't even damage the wall. No, it doesn't, and that's the best part too. Like no holes in the wall. Boom. Done. So cool. nice, right? Love that. What an adorable laundry Thank room. Thank you. What is this? Okay, this is our wanted board. It was kind of came out of a necessity for lost socks, gloves, and all those other crazy things that go floating around in the laundry room. That is so cute. It's just a piece of wood and some yeah. clothespins. Hi, girl. <laughs> Say hi. What a cute bedroom. <laughs> this is adorable. Thank you. How do you guys keep it so neat? Under the bed. Under the bed? <laughs> What's under the bed? Our, Our shoes. shoes. Your shoes? How? Oh, how cute. Oh my gosh, it's just a drawer. It's a really easy way to keep them organized because you don't have space in the closet. That is a great idea. Do you guys like being so cute? Yeah. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> <laughs> this is a girl's bathroom? Yes. Adorable. Hey. So what are the DIY projects you did here? Okay, so one of our favorite is actually this towel bar hanger. Everyone, I think, in your Bill grade home has the normal two towel bar right. kind of thing. Kids grab on it and you know, hang on it and it falls off the wall. So um, a really simple solution for us is that we took cabinet knobs on them. So then that way they turn into these towel hanger hooks and the kids can hang them up by themselves. So you're not left with like towels on the floor. Right. All the mess. And it's really easy, keeps organized and everything. Because the place. kids aren't gonna nice and neatly put the towels no, on the towel they're rack. they're not. Unless they're easy to do. And so this is really nice. You just sewed some ribbons on some towels and they come off. So you just sewed this onto the towel? Yep, I just sewed it on. I'm very meticulous when it comes to towel racks, so the towels always have to be nice and neat. But with three kids in the house, I know that ain't gonna happen. So having the towel racks the way that Shelly did it with the doorknobs, love it. This house is really a place of inspiration because there's nothing here that you can't implement in your own house with your own two hands.